Would you like to see us break test some quad anchors with some 240 centimeter Dyneema slings? Check it out on this episode of Bolt Busters slash Slacks. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to my backyard. Go to HowNotToHighline.com if you want to read the Bolting Bible or take our Highline courses. It's all free. It's all at HowNotToHighline.com. Today we are going to break some quad anchors because you guys have been requesting this for a while and we've recently put out an episode with 6mm cordelette, but it is also common to use these 8.0 Dyneema Mammut slings. This is from Black Diamonds and I completely said that wrong. <laughs> Those are it 10 millimeter. Literally has the tag right here. These are from Black Diamond. They are 10 millimeters wide. They are Dyneema. They have a sewn end to them versus the knot that we had issues with in the cordelette. So we are going to start this episode in our bolt busters area in my backyard here. We have our hydraulic cylinder, pump, and our battery, and a seven point anchor. And this all goes to a denimometer right here because this way it doesn't go flying when shit breaks. This goes uh, up to 10,000 pounds, which is super good enough for these tests. Uh, we actually have bigger ones for the bolts that we break. And this keeps us from dying. We also stand behind a door, so we try to be as safe as eh, we can. So we can learn about safety. We have installed here two normal carabiners two normal carabiners. These are aluminum, they're not steel because we are actually hoping that they break before the Dyneema sling. Now keep in mind, these are the same carabiners we did in the other video because they didn't break and we wanna see them break and now they're compromised and we can't use them. So if they break a little lower, eh, it might be because we already took them up to like 20 something kilonewtons. But they are rated for 24 and 23 kilonewtons MBS. And these ones over here are 25 kilonewtons. So this sling is rated for 22 kilonewtons if you pulled it in the straight loop. What we have here is a figure eight going through to a figure eight. This is a dynamic rope. It's new and it's stretchy. And we basically lost throw in our cylinder last time. So we couldn't pull enough to break it. Hopefully this, we want to see this break. If it doesn't, we'll just connect this directly to this. Um, but we just don't know if this will break or this will break or this will break or the knots because knots are very bad in Dyneema slings. So let's find out what happens. Let's start pulling. Oh my God, this whole thing got knocked over. Um, okay, what broke? Uh, the rope. Sick. We only had like this much left on the cylinder. So this is, is that the cuts in? Yeah, so this is the end that was in the carabiner. And this is the end we cut. You can you can feel the difference. This has been really stretched out. Look at these really figure soft. eights. Like they were, I, you know, thought they were pretty dressed. But when you pull on them that much, and it's only pulling on one strand, you know, yeah. So I don't know how important dress knots are. Wow, that's just, oh yeah, that's super screwed up. Um, but did this... How's this? this? Huh, that's weird. Why is that out? Okay, so that. The carabiner must have come open when it was flying backwards. Okay. Um, they feel like they're all right. Okay, oh, and here's, here's another carabiner that it unclipped from two strands. What? This one's clipped. Because this is the way it was. Yeah. Dude, that stuff's bouncing around a lot. What did our rope give us? 23.000 kilonewtons. Sick. That's pretty good for a rope that's eh, going around a bin like I don't know. That's pretty that's pretty good. You can't really generate that climbing. So well let's connect directly to here and see what these break at. kind of nervous it's at 40.55 kilonewtons at least when it broke uh in the knot here you can see in the knot right there um it looked like it broke on this side of it 
And so it still has two of the strands holding it. But they, they look like they're close to going and they're, they're not close there. to going. And so um, let's let's just keep pulling. So that was quite dramatic. Oh shit, what even happened here? So there this this broke something. I think this broke. is the first thing that broke coming around here. Okay. Maybe this one. I mean just look at this. What a gnarly mess. And like that's Oh. Those are about to go. Okay, what? So did it, did it break here the second time with the two carabiners pulling? Possibly. It's really hard to recreate. So this was in the knot. Yeah. This was in the knot. I think it just basically broke in the knot. Okay. And then and then that broke from the carabiners maybe. And this is our But these still work. Our keeper strand here. Our keeper strand didn't uh because this side didn't break, it didn't need to engage this and it went underneath our catcher, clustered this up, almost hit the camera. Whoa. 30.1 on the second round, because we had 40 something before. Yeah. Um, in these carabiners, <laughs> damn dude, these, I uh, think, yeah, they kind of work. I mean, we could reuse them. Not for climbing. <laughs> uh, how's that for cyclic loading? <laughs> so we were kind of disappointed that the carabiners didn't break. So we're going to try one more time. We have this loaded on the shelf of the quad um, and directly to the bolts. All we did was take this from the um, other bolt and clip it into the shelf here because that is another clip in point that is commonly used yep so uh, these have been uh basically twice as strong as our six millimeter test in the other video now this is new and that was old but you know still twice as strong Uh, a little that's bit anticlimactic. 13.1 kilonewtons. And we sucked it in about a foot after we got to that point, and it's, it must be what? pulling through the, the knob. Yeah, it's just slipping. Dyneema's a slippery animal. Welcome to my garage, where we are going to continue to break this on Slack Snap, where we have the dinos on this side, a 20 foot rectangle and a 20 to one pulley system over here. Uh, what we have right now is the same quad anchor setup as we had out there because we want to do another test to make sure we're getting consistent results and to see what rabbit holes we want to dive down uh, before we kind of change up how we start pulling on this. Uh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> damn. Okay, our catcher caught it. If we didn't have this, this shit would be everywhere. Did it? Wait, you know, it's here. See that? What is that? I think... God, putting Humpty Dumpty back together again? I think these two failed outside of the knot, and this one oh, failed... Oh, Dyneema, no, Dyneema slips, right? Okay. And so this might have just slipped out once, once these three oh, strands it could broke. Have. Okay, yeah. let's, let's assume that happened. But... 39.9. This was less than outside. Less than a kilonewton difference. Okay, yeah, we're, we're really, really close. The um, the only difference we have here are steel carabiners, but basically all roughly the same, you know, for bend radiuses and stuff. And then we have um, 8,950 pounds of force. So Dyneema's slippery, got it. It it completely squished my label. <laughs> no, it's over here. No, my, oh. my 853 label I oh, taped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so 
I was watching the dyno while it was all happening. It was 9.5 while it was slipping. And then it had, like got stuck on that knot and got to 14.4. Yeah. So our max force on this thing was 3,200. Why you don't join Dyneema together with knots like you would your other ropes because they slip yeah. at pretty if low If you forces. wanna die, that is what you would do <laughs> right there. So Bobby is setting up right now a carabiner on two strands and another carabiner on another two strands for a super redundant master point. Same system as up here. Our previous test was only uh, two carabiners in the same three strands. What, so, do you, what do you think is gonna happen? I think it'll break a little bit stronger unless the metal of these carabiners happens to pinch the Dyneema and cut it. I prefer the, the three strands because it, it sits flatter. This kind of sits weird, but I'm very interested, interested to see what the breaking strength is. We have added recently a light, which has made our slow motions quality a lot better. And just to be funny, we've used some of our semi-used carabiners and made this side a little adjustable. So, uh, and we even use AM steel and bolts and everything <laughs> in order to hold this machine down. So yeah, there's a lot of components to this baby. <laughs> we spent a while designing this thing. It's freaking nuts. <laughs> Wow. So it broke in the knot on the other side of the knot. Oh, uh, hold on. Run that by me again? So, oh, it... Yeah, so it, it broke these two strands on the other... Okay, uh, and that's this knot. Yeah. Uh -huh. This knot is the shelf. Interesting. So this is still the two... These are the two strands, two sets. Cool. Okay. This failed. On the other side, yeah. On this side. And so, what do we get? 40.70, okay. So, and 100 pounds difference. 89.50. Um, I suppose we could just keep pulling. Uh, it is very good to know that if this sling is broken, it will continue to pull out and you will die. Because 2.35 kilonewtons is not very much. Would you like to know how to weld Dyneema? <laughs> Tip it up to 40 kilonewtons. Oh my God. <laughs> huh. In a moment, we are going to uh, film a sliding X with a 240 centimeter sling. I realized I wasn't quite sure how to do that with four strands. This breaks at about 44 kilonewtons if you just do a normal sliding X. Because we did that in another episode where we used Mammut slings, which also have an MBS of 22 kilonewtons. But in this case, we're curious if we can do an 88 kilonewton anchor. And uh, because the quads are kind of like, I don't know, there's nothing else to test with them. We're really, really curious. So how not to do this, Bobby? So see, I have the two strands on either side yep. here. And if I just make my X here and clip all four strands down here. Okay. Um, and then say I have a, a failure there. Oof. <laughs> so that sliding X um, is not redundant in the case of a bolt failure. Which, so, which is pretty bad. Like you lose a lot of value. <laughs> okay. But. So. See how gotcha. they so two separated. Separated. On side. Yep, that'll if kill we you. Take one from each side, then make the sliding X. Huh. And That's put, not easy to screw up. Put through <laughs> all of them. So if you are ever making a sliding X with four strands, be aware of. Yeah, this. like if you're Maybe really not sure, freaking test, test it, it. Yeah. So let's see if this holds. So. That catches like you want it to. Perfect, let's break it. We have installed the double sliding X, but a few thoughts uh, is that you have to eliminate a lot of weak, weak 
50 kilonewton items. So we're going to directly into this monster and we made sure we did it, you know, all right. And into another monster shackle and only this dyno, um, the other ones, the 20,001 isn't working. This dyno is not strong enough, uh, shockingly. the room for that one so i think it shifted is what happened yeah and then and then it that's what we heard and at twelve thousand something pounds when that happened but now it's twenty one thousand two hundred and fifty pounds of force twice this string i'm glad we didn't actually use this at all or the even the twenty thousand pound one well that's more than 80 we, we thought we were gonna get 80 yeah and look at how many places it broke <laughs> That's the same sling. What the heck? Okay, so we are done breaking quad anchors and we did a fun test. So uh, let us know in the comments below your PayPal donations <laughs> what you want to see broken next. Uh, we're always curious about what you think, how we should dive a little deeper into a rabbit hole or start a whole new rabbit hole. Uh, make sure you smash that like button instead of smashing your quad anchors but be sure to follow like and subscribe on instagram facebook and youtube because i'm posting stuff all the time on all those platforms cheers